2011 Ultimate Builder Custom Bike Show in Daytona Beach, Florida. With Bo we're with Bridget Borget from Borget's Bike Works, and she's brought us another freestyle class bike. Let's start from the beginning. Uh, t let's take a moment and talk about your background, Bridget. Well, my background in motorcycling is uh, about 18 years this year since I started my company and um, we build ground up production customs is the name we like to put on it. Um, we do have a pat couple of patents on our frames. We have drop seat design with oil in the frame. We also have a patent on our jack shaft which allows us to run the, uh, the wide rear tires with the engine and training centered in the frame and we've pioneered a lot of uh, a lot of different things in the industry and we're pretty proud of that and um, kind of stepping it up a notch or two this year with some of the show bikes and, and one-offs that we've been doing. But 18 years this year we've been in this glorious industry. What were you trying to accomplish with this build, Bridget? This build is, uh, this is the King Cobra that we built for Glenn Smith out of uh, New Orleans, Louisiana. He was crowned king this year for 2011 of the Crew of Louisianians. And the Crew of Louisianians puts on Mardi Gras in Washington, D.C. So it's a lot of government, political um, people that attend that. And um, it's a once in a lifetime opportunity. And so he wanted, uh, he's a collector of my bikes and wanted something that would really portray the whole Mardi Gras theme and also, um, you know, commemorate his being king uh, for 2011. So we um, incorporated a lot of things into the paint. Um, the ducals that you see are a, a commemorative um, button and ribbon from every, every, um, Mardi Gras ball is, is what they call it, and so we've incorporated those throughout the scheme. Um, we've incorporated Mardi Gras beads throughout uh, the front the front and rear fenders, and these are actually billet aluminum machined beads that we've done in either gold plating, chrome, or purple and green powder coat to tie in with um, the colors, basically purple, green, and gold. Um, Glenn had a crown, a sword, and a scepter made for this King celebration, and so all of the components on the bike are machined to um, imitate either the scepter, the sword, or the crown. So that's the, the scroll pattern that you see on the forks and the handlebars and some of the foot pegs. Those are um, kind of replicas of the scepter. These uh, jeweled pieces here on the front forks were actually made by the gentleman that made the crown. And these pieces are, uh, the crown looks very similar to this and also the scepter looks like this. So um, we've tied a lot of gold plating into the bike to go with the crown. Um, a lot of purple and clear jewels that are in the crown. Basically, almost every piece on this motorcycle has purple and clear jewels somewhere. Um, and again, just the, every, every piece on this bike was basically custom designed and machined for this bike in particular. Um, the crowns on the wheels are obviously to replicate the crown. They actually spin on a, on a couple of bearings, so that's kind of cool. The K of L is their, uh, their logo, and the, the, uh, the rod that holds the crown into the wheel, this is actually very similar to the scepter pattern as well. So just kind of looking at his costume and the sword, the scepter, the chalice, all of the things that were um, going to be part of this Mardi Gras ball, we've tried to tie all of those pieces into into the bike. And then the, the Mardi Gras girls, the Harlequin girls that are um, you know part of Mardi Gras are carried out throughout the paint as well. So. We even went um, as far as doing his initials on the mirrors. Um, Glenn D. Smith is his name, so we've got the, uh, the monogrammed mirrors and then the little billet sissy bar on the back of the bike, which is um, standard on this model. We've actually changed to where it's a two-tone chrome with the gold uh, crown to match the crown, and then the back of that is jeweled as well, very similar. Some of the actual crown uh, jewels are incorporated into that sissy bar. So just a lot of very, um, very intricate detailing on this bike to tie everything into that 2011 Crew of Louisianians Mardi Gras ball. So, What about the engine on this? What have we done on that? What have the you engine, done on that? Uh, the engine on this bike is actually 131 cubic inches. 
which that motor uh, configuration is exclusive to Borgads from SNS. It's fuel injected, and we've also done uh, what we call a competition package on it, which is going in, boring out the heads and cylinders, and doing a lot of performance work, different cams, things like that. And, and this bike actually has about 162 horsepower. Um, it's show polished and diamond cut, but I mean, it's it's gorgeous to look at, but it's it's also hidden within that's about 160 horsepower. Let's talk about the paint. The paint was done uh, by our local painter that does all of our bikes. They're called Synthium out of Arizona. And um, it's kind of an eggplant royal purple color that ties in with Mardi Gras. Hidden throughout the paint is the different little KFL logos, Florida Lees, Mardi Gras masks, strings of beads, basically anything and everything that could tie into Mardi Gras. And then prominently displayed in the paint is are the Harlequin girls. Um, there's actually a, a steel replica of the sword that's here on the backbone and it's painted even um, the Damascus steel detailing is, is incorporated into this piece as well as well as the jewel on the end and, and the gold and, and everything. So it's we tried to make everything as true to uh, real life as the components that he was using for the show. But um, the rear fender again has the, um, the beading detail and also the monogram on the back. Um, this is, when you're crowned king, you have to come up with a medallion uh, for your Mardi Gras beat. So this is Glenn's uh, Cool Louisianians 2011 medallion, which incorporates the crown on the top, and then you've got the magnolia and the old plantations. You've got the alligators, the crawfish, the river boats, everything that kind of ties into Louisiana is incorporated into that medallion. So. Um, but again, just the, the time and, and detail that was put into this paint job was phenomenal because we had to lay out where the billet beads were going to be placed and then tie them into the rest of the paint and then color coordinate everything so that it, that it came out. And the painter had to you know, very specifically place all of the artwork so that the beads actually flowed and matched when it was all done. So it was quite a lot of work. The frame is fully painted on this as well. So. Bridget, if somebody would like to get a hold of you, how would they do that? To get a hold of us, you would go to www.borgets.com. That's B-O-U-R-G-E-T-S.com. We'd be happy to talk to you. Bridget, thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you.